Hello, fellowship gatherers. How's everybody doing? Hi. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit teary. <laughs> I was in worship right before um, before this video, and I had also been um, out and and walking, and the brisk cold air coming upon me. So I am extremely teary of joy uh, in this video because I understand I c my heart, my mind, my soul, and my spirit completely understand my heavenly hope. And with that comes a solitude of servitude <laughs> which also has to do with the word poker which is to love and it is derived from the Latin meaning and that also involves being a servant now who are we a servant to and for we are a servant to those who are lost or to those who believe so strongly in Messiah our King Mele, the Chosen One, the Redeemer, the Prince of Peace the one who comforts and brings us tremendous amount of joy when we follow his voice and who are we bringing the serving for? Some are, some are sad. Some are sick. This is a time of pure sickness in the world. And I mean sickness beyond just health, but we are going to talk about that. Beyond the heart and beyond the mind, there is a spiritual spiritual sickness in the world today it's been getting up to a speed to rev up and to be exploded and the enemy is more clever than many of us understand it takes the servitude the being a servant of the Most High Yahuwah, Yah, Almighty God, Alpha and Omega, our Father Abba, Ahaya, Elohim, El Shaddai. I mean, I could go on and on about the names, the holiness of holy names. To get to that level of understanding and allow Messiah's light to fully come through us. And serving is in our fellowship, our gathering together, our remaining remnant who is here, the fragment pieces and the grafting in and this remnant and this time of Jacob's trouble, the time of uh, Israel, not the, the 12 tribes coming back together, coming out of captivity fully, being um, fully encompassed with the love of our Father. And we, we learned this, a wonderful teaching of our Messiah, the perfect walk of life. And it is trying. It is a trialsome period, also for myself, of outsiders, people who what? Are not believing to be caught up, not believing to serve the Father, not believing in His prophecies being fulfilled, not believing in the testimony of truth, the very Word that was Word in heaven, brought down into flesh as Christ, who is, was Messiah on earth. He is the everlasting King. He will reign. His Father, our Father, Abba, allows Him to reign forever and ever. And then, 
the full amount of light, the full glorious, majestic jubilation of truth. The, the veil will be completely, completely unveiled as we know all that we need to know. In heaven, also the will that's done upon earth. And we will grasp that glorious, glorious reigning of our Father. You know, the situation, and the reason why I say I'm, I'm in tears, um, the joy, when you can get into a quiet place, And we're taught and, and we understand in the scriptures that we don't want to meditate on emptiness. We want to meditate upon the Word. You see, when we meditate upon Messiah and what He teaches us and how He walked in the red letter and His parables spoken from His very lips, the actual scriptures that were taking place at that time and now coming to fulfillment, to full prophecy, in front of our very eyes. The eyes that we need to see. What was transpiring was calmness of heart. Thanksgiving of His Father. And knowing that when you are reading the Word and you meditate upon the holy transcribed scripture of the Torah, the Old and the New Testament, the, the words, the truth, the light, the living bread that feeds our soul, the water which nourishes us and we never thirst no more, which is Christ, our Messiah. With that, we are awakened to truth. Awakened in reality to understand that meditating upon Messiah, upon Him, allowing Him to be in our hearts, is what, oh, sila, allows us to get quiet and praise the Father. Our Father, our Divine Father. deserves all the praise and glory all of it you know the situation with E. coli E. coli I should say you know it's not E. coli but E. coli you see many brethren many brethren and, and prophets that are amongst us now those prophesying the word, those telling the truth of the word, teaching the word, the very seed of truth of the word. We're receiving visions, and I had spoken to a couple of wonderful dear sisters and left them comments, and I said, you know, see, the Thanksgiving Day, we need to understand the difference this year. No matter if, you know, you trust that you can have yourself some stuffing and cornbread and pomegranate and uh, maybe you decide to have turkey. Okay, I'm not doing the ham, but you decide to eat some ham or turkey, especially turkey, which is interesting. It wasn't the ham it was found in, but turkey. And you're receiving these visions from above, from the highest part of what the men mental part can, can spiritually imagine, can, can receive from that crown, that whole entire armor, suit of armor, that temple within us that is of Messiah, the light that's shining bright and forth telling, giving us truth to speak to others. Now, as I say this, understand that this is not out of ignorance. Our Father, sometimes in our dreams that we have been given, we receive in the visions, whether your eyes are open or whether you're, you just close your eyes and you, you're in a vision like that, 
they're not always in a human term where we understand earthly. That's why we have to get out of the natural carnal mindset and understand the heavens so that in the spiritual realm when it comes down to earth we can transpire and interpret what's happening. And sometimes they take a while. There were many two in particular. I'm going to speak of two different uh, presentations. One of being told that there wouldn't be time for Thanksgiving food. And another brethren told, even in another area of the world, in Jerusalem, in the actual land of Israel, that there could be turmoil, maybe a masquerade, maybe something taking place. And many of us prayed that that wouldn't happen. Now, how come we go to the news yesterday, okay? So I wrote these down. We go to the news yesterday. Two, a couple days ago, a couple days ago, E. coli scare because over 40, over 40 people have been hospitalized for food. Now, here where I live, there have been many chipotles that have been shut down because of the... The, the sickness. Um, the one that's closest to my home, out where I live, was not closed down. And I'm telling you, when you are really told to come out of her, come out of Babylon, make your food more uh, at home, make it more natural, these sort of things, get away from certain meats, this is the reason. If we cannot, what, destroy those, what, in abortions, if we cannot destroy them in marrying the same sex, if we cannot destroy them in chem chemtrails, if we cannot destroy them um, with deception and illusionation, you know, illusion of the mind, if we cannot destroy them with falsifying flags and information, maybe somehow sickness will come upon the earth at a growing rate during the holidays. Understand! It was Thanksgiving cornmeal and stuffing. The turkey mixes, the sauces, Asian and Thai cuisines, chicken and cheese sauces. From November 20th to December 1st. These were the stores in which it happened. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. For my, my household, I'm paying very close attention to understanding how July, August, September, November, December, and Enoch calendar coincides to these times. Now, if I take these months and correlate them to the the seven days and then into the eighth new day, so we'll talk about another presentation video study. But going into repentance as we talk about purification, as we talk about holiness, as we talk about um, having victory and strength in our Father and, and putting forth our action to go and make the kingdom and help the kingdom come to the forefront in our lives. Because that's what we are to do, make disciples, therefore teach them and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is what we are to do. Go therefore make disciples. Be as the apostles. Go out and prophesy the word. Go out and teach others. Bring the lost to Christ. As we do that, I get to a date of what would actually be October. And this is the number that I received adding dates with just the year, the day, and the month. I, I want to make you understand something. This is the number I come up with. See that? The reason why I say this our Heavenly Father has a purpose. He has a purpose. He has a planned plan, and we are to fulfill 
his plan and his purpose and bring glory and praise to him because we are following his truth, his way of living, his commandments, his statutes, what he tells us. So as we walk and learn this, this walk, numbers and dates, yes, because our father's a mathematician, the genius of all genius. Numbers do mean something. Dates do mean something. Not to set a date of being caught up, but the dates, times, not so much the season, but the appointed, anointed hours. It hasn't, doesn't have to be a appointed time, a modium, okay? Modium in, in Hebrew. We don't have, it's not that, but the anointing of Holy Spirit. The anointing of Holy Spirit by fire. The renewing of the mind. The walking Christ-like. The light shining forth. Eyes that have eyes to see. Ears that have ears to hear. And our mouth being slow about speaking, quick about hearing. Because even when our Heavenly Father shows so much mercy and He's given mercy on the nations and He has allowed time to Past maybe perhaps past the time he would have us caught up. So one more sheep, one more soul could be saved. Why? Because in heaven they clap. We are giving praise. The elders are giving praise. Angels, everyone is giving praise when one more is saved. And you have to understand, many have been sick in this season, in this time. Technically, we're not in winter. And we're also not in winter even in Enoch calendar. And understand this. It's freezing. Freezing in many places. Can you imagine if all the electricity was turned off everywhere? I say this because this is the time where our mouths and who we talk to in our environment and how we minister to those and how we bring those in, fellowshipping with them and gathering them into this remnant, this, this gathering group all over the world that we are coming together as one body of Christ. As we are doing this, our environment, our choices, they mean something. It's not just funny. It's not just for show. It's not for play. It means something. Because we are simplifying our lives. We are coming out of here. We are, excuse me for a moment, we are leaving the materialism alone. There's nothing wrong with having uh, money to pay your bills. There's nothing wrong with that. But there is something definitely wrong when we serve mammon. When we put money and prosperity over the kingdom news. Because the kingdom, the gospel, the word, the truth is holy. The scripture is alive. The bread we eat is eternal. We won't thirst. And look at all these stars. Look at this. Okay, so we have Target, Sam's Club, Starbucks chain, Walmart, Costco. How many families and stores? I used to shop for Costco for a position I had as an after-school teacher. And you know, many have seen many things happen. We've seen what... Um, the helicopters you're seeing the, something that looks unidentified I'm not sure what it is there's a light all of a sudden there's something there looks like a star it's not a star so we understand what's going on the surveillance we understand all these things truth though exposes darkness we expose it it then becomes known to the light the light shines upon it it is the truth and the truth sets you free do not allow anyone in your life to tell you that you do not have to I'd say you don't have to hold back but don't let anyone tell you or convince you that you have to we're not holding back because this is the way and the path to Messiah through the door of him the ark the covenant the the complete path to him to his father we cannot get to the father but through his son now all these stores See, they have a lot of print-off coupons. How many individuals were out shopping for food? Those that maybe were in a tabernacle, uh, 
Maybe they went to a, a, a church setting, organization, community center to eat. They gathered in a home. Reunions happened. Many things took place. And we're not going to talk about the fact of what really took place for Thanksgiving. But we were supposed to give thanks to our Heavenly Father for even a breath of life. Even a breath of life. And you notice it's always on a Thursday. You know? Sickness happened, right? Many got sick. They really receive sickness. This is the time to ask for healing from our Father. This is the time to ask for healing from our Father. The prayer is so necessary. It's a necessity. The prayer life, the praise and the worship, the glory to Him, all His glory, are thanking Him. That's what's going to save that situation. Let's go to, uh, let's see, we're going to go to Psalms. I touched on this about another video back. Let me touch on this. We're going to touch on chapter 64 and 65. Uh, excuse me, chapter 64 of Psalms. Oppressed by the wicked but rejoiced in the Lord to the chief musician, a psalm of David. Selah, okay? I'm going to read this. These ten verses. Let's think about it. Hear my voice, O God, in my meditation. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity. What is iniquity? You see, the idol worship, the sorcery, the whole entire circumference of the rebellion of the workers of iniquity. To do what? To kill, destroy, to make you sick, to harm you. It is their life dedication. Babylon, that is the life dedication to rise a person up to make them look like they are God. We are only righteous by our Father saying we are. We are only holy by being accepted by our Father, being redeemed by Messiah. His love, His teaching on earth. The peace He gave, the peace He shows us how to have agape love, how to be that way. This is where we are hearing the voice of the Father. Our Father, Abba. Are we hearing His voice? Are, are we hearing the voice? Because before Messiah came onto the scene of being earthly, we heard the Father's voice. And now are we follow Messiah hearing His voice? See, it all goes together. It works in union. They work together. And you have to have the commandments and the understanding, the holiness and the walk, and it goes together. And then the light shines through and we can get to that heavenly place with our Father. Now, if we're being oppressed, imagine how many people are eating Thanksgiving dinner then? So if they're eating these, these meals and they're getting them from these particular places, these particular brands, and they were the, the it wasn't a foster farm, Actually, I used to buy these products, so these were the, from Target. Anything can happen to food now. We know about GMOs. We know about all, you know, they say there's human DNA. We know about, uh, excuse me about that, I apologize about my boss. Um, back, to, back to things here, back to the, what we're talking about. Uh, sorry for getting off track for a moment there uh, with clothing. So, Not just the vegetation, but we know seeds have changed in fruits and vegetables. We know there's been chemtrails, okay, that produces stimulation to be feeling a little bit anxious and, and depressed. So then they put this sort of, uh, put, make you feel a little, oh, lackadaisical, a little bit, a uh, little bit off, a little bit uh, more of a melancholy type of attitude. A melancholy, it's like a, not a serenity, but a withdrawing. That's what the chemicals do in the air. Then you get the rain coming down. So what they do to make the, the, the buildup of the air and the atmosphere change, the chemicals change with the precipitation and the humidity, and all of this goes in line with, with their agenda, not the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father wants what? He wants us to breathe in good air, the air that He provides. So then what happens? comes down 
infiltrates into us. Infiltrates means it, it's, it's an a enemy that comes in that tries to pretend to care for us and comes into our body and messes up our immune system. And then people want not just coffee or tea. They, they go for addicted drugs such as chemicals in stores. So you've got your aspirins. You've got all your different chemically treated um, pills that will, not for allergies, but we're talking about um, different stores. You can get it at Costco. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them at all these stores to basically uh, calm you down, make you more, you know, more at peace, that type of thing. Slow your process down. And in that case, they brainwash you by making you think you're smart when you're really not that smart. You've just learned what they've taught. But the Heavenly Father says, meditate upon my word. And when you're oppressed, when the wicked are rejoicing over what they've done to you, come to me. Hear my voice. Why? Because he's our restful place. He's our hiding place. If we don't come to him, if we don't preserve the life that we have in us from these enemies, they will consume us. And when they consume us, it can destroy us. So, Verse 3, who sharpened their tongue like a sword? A tongue. Sharpening. So it's like a serpent, just like the snake, just like Satan, the enemy, the adversary, the devil, the same thing. Sharpening, making it more skinny and long and, and, and coming for you, just like what the caliph, the, the Kali, the, all these different gods. Same thing. Okay? And the same thing, the same satanic stuff that they are worshiping, they are idolizing their wrongness and their wickedness, and then they try to push it upon you. They may lie about you, they may gossip, they may slander you, they may make you sick with food from a store. And it could be purposeful, it could not. We don't know for sure, but it is a wake-up call and warning. And I was having that wake-up call about this Thanksgiving. And I had made that video purposely because something was different. It was not just myself. Many, before myself woke up to that, understood. Coming out of her. You cannot just maybe go buy Starbucks every day. Do you want fetus? It's a baby embryo before it's a newborn. Do you want that in some of your products, which Kraft already said they do? So you have... Different products, and it does, it does happen with some of the Nestle's, and some of these products, and I made a video about this months back, but uh, products, and they're putting that in there. And a placenta, a baby, an infant embryo, a fetus that is of the Heavenly Father's seed. It is His to decide, not, not humankind, not men. We cannot worship men. We cannot worry about men. We must please our Father, not men. Yes, they have rules, regulations. We abide by that. We're law-abiding citizens. And yet, you speak the name of truth. They scatter. You must understand how important and how valuable that is. Don't just open up to anybody without praying first. Don't just assume a situation is ministry and you get caught on guard by something that isn't ministry but is out to just harm you and your family. Be on guard. But don't be guarded. Be on guard. Safeguard your soul, your heart, your armor. However, do not be guarded from the fact that you will have to go beyond what your comfort zone may be. You will have to to fulfill this promise of the Father. Now, Verse 4, that they may shoot in secret at the blameless. Suddenly they shoot at him and do not fear. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They talk of laying snares secretly. They say, who will see them? They devise iniquities. We have perfected a shrewd scheme. A shrewd scheme. They've perfected it. Excuse me for just a moment. I just need, to, I need something for my throat. So they will continue to perfect, destroying, as the Father lies did. What is Satan's job? Everyone, pay close attention and let your heart understand this. 
Again, what is his job? His job isn't to hang out. His job is to kill and destroy. His job is to ruin, to break up, to divide families, to fester sickness and death. That is what his job is. And he'll do it any kind of cunning, deceptive way. He'll work through anyone and anything. He has no limits on that. But he cannot go past what the Heavenly Father allows. This is the thing. For those that are trusting in the Heavenly Father, for those that are trusting in Ahaya, Yahuwah, they are trusting in him. And they are following Yahushua, HaMashiach. And they are receiving that Holy Spirit of anointing, Ruch HaKadosh. And they are receiving the truth that sets them free and it sets them apart from others. The devil, the adversary, can only be allowed to do certain things. But one thing, the first one and foremost thing he starts to work on is guilt. Try and make you feel guilty for something. When you know you're doing truthful things, he'll try to deceive your mind and, and illusions to think it's you, you're the problem. So you just need to get more money. You just need to do better, do these things, and you'll be better. No. How many meetings have I sat in? I cannot tell you how many meetings I've sat in. How many conferences, how many situations, whether it be ministry, business, the entrepreneur work, gift baskets, you name it, with nervous folks. They're so self-conscious and worried. And I'm not saying this where you're trying to, you know, not show your undergarments and you're trying to be presentable, okay? So if I mess around with this, I'm not talking about trying to be presentable, okay? So I'm trying to be presentable. And I have color here, Okay? I am talking about nervous, always trying to find more, something to make up, something to start because it's their job or something to conjure up in their mind because they want to make you look like you've done something when you haven't or distort the truth of a paragraph or a sentence they're speaking and make some weird point about it or even their appearance that nothing wrong with the droop they have to just oh I like this and I this and all these things going on all this chaos and ooh, nervousness and shakiness and you know like this if I did, did this through the whole video you wouldn't be able to understand what's going on and there's no calmness because they have no faith in the Heavenly Father their mustard seed hasn't even started. They have allowed the devil, the adversary, to come in and distort and divide to conquer. But if you put trust in Heavenly Father, it's not going to happen. It's going. It will go to a point. You can get very sick on this earth. You can. Your family can be lost. Oh, you can lose everything. Keep going, get up, walk, go straight forward. People want to hold you down. They want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you there because if those certain individuals keep you there, it might be about money, it might be about control. Ultimately, the adversary sent them there. You must conquer that with faith. You must conquer it with trust. You must conquer it with the word of the living Father, the living God. So, see, so it says, Verse 6, they devise iniquities. We have perfected a shrewd scheme. Both the inward thoughts and the hearts of man are deep. But God shall shoot at them with the arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded. Then you go up to Psalm 63, join fellowship with God. This is why we fellowship, because we need the fellowship. We are all together going to be with our Father. When all things break loose here, this is a tough time. It's a dark, dark time. I have to keep fortified. I'm telling you, stay in Psalms. With everything else you're reading the word, stay in Psalms as well. Get into more of Hebrews. First and second Thessalonians, first and second Peter, first and second third John. Get back into Psalms. Judges. Okay. And 
It says, a psalm of David when he was in wilderness of Judah. O oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see the power of your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and the mouth will praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the day, in the night watches. I meditate on you. Who is David meditating? He is meditating upon his father. You know how much trust it had to take before Messiah was here? So we should be able to understand that now that we can trust him. We have to understand now, we, we, you know, we did not see Messiah right there next to us on earth at that time when he was preaching the word and teaching of the kingdom to come. But what happened? David put trust. When he was in the wilderness of Judah, he put trust. He put trust in his father. He knew he was miraculous. He knew he was there for him. He knew he was a living God. He knew. Yet the Holy Spirit working, this is before actual Holy Spirit and the Pentecost of Holy Spirit. This is before all of this took place with the apostles. And when everyone was speaking in languages for, for everyone to understand in the room. This was before all of this. But he knew. He knew there was a living God. He knew. He had a relationship. As we must have a relationship. If you don't have an intimate relationship with Messiah... Yeshua, you will not be able to sustain these times. I am here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. And I mean, you might have to pray. See, some will say five times a day, six, seven. I like seven. Seven is a complete, I like seven. Those are regular, those are prayers of through the day. Then we have our deep, deep, holy prayers where we're really telling our Father everything, talking to Him as though He's right there. And sometimes, you know when Messiah's presence is there. You know when you feel the Holy Spirit. Okay? And you know because you have a relationship, an intimate relationship with Him. And His Son, you have that. And if you don't have that, there's no way to then... Have prayer as your regular routine and praising and talking constantly to Messiah all day long. And then the work comes in and the appointments come in. They are secondary. All of that is secondary. So we have our family. So there's the Heavenly Father and, our, and, and, and the Kingdom. There's the Gospel, the Word, the, the Truth, the Living Bread. And then there, and there is our family and the priorities. And they are part of that ministry. They are part of the ministry. They are ministry. You must understand. I, everyone must understand that. Many don't understand. Your family is ministry. A marriage is ministry. You're having a relationship. You're talking about the word. You are, you are together in this relationship serving the Father. And you're walking Christ-like. So that is a relationship. That is ministry as well. And then you have the ministry ministry. You're going outside of that. And talking to those that are lost, hurt, need um, uh, deliverance from demons and wicked spirits. And you're casting that out, rebuking them and binding them up and throwing them back to where they belong. The darkness of hell. Okay? And you are doing this. But it is constant. It's all day long. It's every day, all day. And then you're asking for visions and dreams. You're asking for deliverance through prayer before you go to bed to protect over your home for the archangels to be there. It's 24 7. And then you have your life come in. But if you're rushing through, if you're scared, there's good fear. And then there's the fear that, you know, you allow that enemy, that adversary to come into your heart. You've got a problem. You must be strong, bold. You must say, no, I won't allow it. I won't allow it. You're not welcomed in my house. You're not welcomed in my house or my house. Or my business establishment, my office, wherever you are. It's not allowed. We will have peace of mind here. We will be comforted by the comforter. We will have joy. We will understand the fruitages of the Spirit. And we will express them and live them. And so we get down here. We're at verse 7. Because you have been my help, therefore in the shadow of your wings... 
I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion of jackals. See, they're going to fall by the sword. They will be slain. And you can pray for someone's heart to be convicted on the truth. If they're lying about you, may the truth be set free. May the truth be told and said so that the darkness is exposed, exposed and the light shines and it is set free out into the atmosphere where the Heavenly Father is the Creator. He controls as the Alpha and the Omega. He controls everything going on in your life. He knows your heart condition. He knows how zealous you are from. He knows how you need to be delivered. He knows your weaknesses. He knows your strengths. He knows you. You are his child. We are his children. And but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall glory. But the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. Those that tell vicious lies, those that gossip, those that slander will be what? Stopped. Your words you speak to the Heavenly Father in your prayer mean something. Let us not fear. There are times we have to pull back and seclude ourselves. Yes, we do. Because if we don't, we don't have time with the Heavenly Father. And that's what deceptive adversary, the enemy, wants you to not have is peace. He wants to destroy your joy, destroy your peace. He wants to clutter your mind with cable TV. Nothing wrong with a movie once in a while. Something that isn't approving. It's harder for children. It's harder for teenagers. It's harder for young people, young adults even. It's that time. It's harder for them. And you have to slowly pull those things out. And you have to reason with them. You have to take them to the scriptures and explain why we don't do this. Why we want values in our home even though others don't. Because otherwise you get people walking around, running around like Miley Cyrus right now. Who we used to watch as Hannah Montana. And the stuff she's doing in concert. Please be careful of your children seeing anything like that. But explain it so that when they do see it, unfortunately, on YouTube or see it somewhere, just glance, see it in a commercial or something, some horrible pornographic situation, they'll be... They'll know. They'll be alarmed. And that's why there's no age restriction on us. Because when I speak, I speak real words that you can actually find in the dictionary. And I am expressing it from scripture and explaining as a parent and as a mentor and as a spiritual counseling teacher and instructing the word and prophesying the word. That's what matters. Okay? That's what matters. How we express it and we teach it and we study upon his word. So, in closing, uh, let me go back to Psalm 64. Let's go to verse 8. I did not get these three. Verse 8 says, So he will make them stubble, stumble over their own tongue. All who see them shall free away. All men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. You see? They could sweat when you just say the word Messiah. You, if, you use the, if you say Jesus, which is in Greek, if you say Jesus or you say Yahshua, all of a sudden them just sweat and things like that. Because their pores are not washed clean. The pores, the very pores in a person that has a wicked heart or a wicked mind, it's going to show now. This is the time it's coming out. It's going to come out. You don't need them around you. And I want to say this too, with the Thanksgiving and this food and all these situations that happen, I'm going to tell you, there is prayer and relief for tormentors, but we have God to be. So if you look at Psalms 56, Psalms 58, 59, Psalms 60, I'm telling you, all of this is so important right now to be reading for your daily, daily, uh, just clarity to keep your mind Filled with good, good reminders and understanding. And then there was, when I did the Thanksgiving presentation video, that one particularly, I spoke of a video, uh, a Psalms that was about Thanksgiving. And I understood it because we were to give thanks to Him, to our Father. And if we did that more instead of worrying about the food, maybe we wouldn't be someone sick. I'm so glad my family was not sick. And I hope none of yours are. So we pray that many were not sick. But there were 
could have been a lot worse and it still could be. They said it real quick and then it went away from the news. So it was like two days it was on, it was gone. Like everything else. So many are understanding that they might think they have the flu and they could have E. coli. Hopefully they don't. You see? But the sickness starts. Their sickness is starting in the brain in here in order to even do wicked things that they do. All these iniquities. There is relief for tormentors. So I'm going to close with this, and I do apologize for not having my head covered, but it, it's partially covered with braiding of hair. So that's why it, it is in agreement with the Father, but I do usually like to cover it completely, and that's fully covering before man, head of, head of, head of, head of woman is man, I, and then Christ and our Father. So, okay. Um... Let me close with saying this, and then also with the book, I, I'm working on it. It's going to get done. There's a lot of things going on, projects, a lot of things taking place this month, a lot. And I also know that if you, just like myself, please be, please be warned and, and very wise on, on not getting caught up, not getting caught up in all of the jibber jabber and the fast shopping. Oh, I gotta have this and let's buy this. I gotta have this and then this and then and oh, which one do we get? No, it's only thirty cents. And which one's on sale? Oh, that card and that card. Be more authentic. Thinking about writing uh, cards to folks for for Holy Spirit to direct you to encourage those. Go visit the seniors. You can get into hospice and visit those that are on their last uh, last breath of life, and you can bring them to Messiah. Okay, that's the best you can do with that. And um, gift baskets, you know, if, if you want to know more about the Joy Heart uh, Sequel 3 with that as well, guess, do a personal gift basket. Okay. Um, there's so much that can be done. So I really try hard to follow what the Heavenly Father gives me to say, and I, I do it in His time, not my own. So, um, and then if things come up as well, you know, you're worried because you need to get something out. So there's ministry not just on YouTube or videos. There's ministry in conferences. There's ministry when I'm talking to brethren on the phone, sisters especially. We're encouraging each other. So we're fellowshipping or um, out in the field ministry, um, doing factual outside ministry field work or driving um, with others in different areas. Um, many things that take place. Okay, your children, talking to other teens, there's a lot going on. There's college courses going on, um, teaching other languages, speaking other languages, all of these other things that take place. Okay, and regular job working, there's a lot going on. Your family, all kinds of things happening in life. Don't want to get caught up, so just be very careful of that. Okay, very careful of that. Be very careful of the technology and, and the more that's given out there. Um, and much is given, much is much is received, much is given. So the more we ask our Heavenly Father, we need to be serving others. We need to constantly be doing that. So things happen, and sometimes we're not able to connect to someone. We need to be praying for them, praying that they're they're well. So uh, with that, I'm going to leave. I'm going to just go into Psalms 56, prayer for relief from tormentors in this last verse. And then you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. There will be a couple more um, coming out. So. Praise the Heavenly Father for this day, and I pray that He cover this video and this message, um, and that Your instructions, Most High Yahuwah, Ahai, You are Asher Ahai, You are the one and only true Alpha and Omega. And I pray that our hearts be restored, and that we do not receive oppression from our tormentors or the wicked with their iniquities, but that we bring praise to Your name. And that's what we pray for. Amen. We pray for that. So I'm going to stop here. It says, um, Prayer for relief for ten mentors to the chief musician set to the silent dove in a distant land. Isn't that a beautiful poet poetic sentence? A mishan of David. Mishan. I'm sorry, because I say it in Hebrew. David, when the Philistines captured him in Goth. He was captured by Philistine. This is you know, David and Goliath. Be merciful to me, O God, for man would swallow me up. Fighting all day, he oppresses me. My enemies would hound me all day. This is so true. 
so true. For there are many who fight against me. Oh, most high. Fellowship gatherers, thank you. Thank you very much for the agape love. Oh, agape love, Messiah. The Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. I praise, praise to him. I pray that many more awake quickly because flight is soon. And uh, you guys have a good day. Shalom.